hi today i'm going to show you how to join your private own device to microsoft intune or to azure active directory so here i have i have created an office 365 trial account and as you can see i have my microsoft azure and here we have the devices which is the intune and also if i go to my office 365 account here you can see i have some users which have been synced from my on-premises domain and as well some users which i created here in office 365 and if i go to my azure active directory and i go to users and here you can see we have some users also you can see that the source of the users can be windows server or azure active directory but let me just go back and go to devices here when i go to devices you can see we have some devices which have been synced from um, either um, by Azure are they joined or devices which are just joined from a private own device. So I'm going to show you the different method how you can join your device to Azure Active Directory. So let me just go back to my um, machines, my Windows 10 computer. So I have about, so I have some Windows 10 computers here which I have installed in a virtual machine. So I'm going to actually show you the first method how you can actually join your device to Azure Active Directory. So if I go to the Start menu here, and I go to Settings, and on that Settings you will have to search for Accounts. So click Accounts, and on that Accounts click Access Work or account so actually this is actually mostly the old way to actually join your device to azure active directory so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click connect and here it's going to ask me to actually provide my credentials so i'm going to provide my credentials that have access to office 365 click next I'm going to provide my password, click sign in. You can see this device is being registered to Azure Active Directory. So you say, okay, you are all set and then click done. Here you can see that the device is going to, um, it has been registered under my under the name of Thomas Johnson. So let me go back to um, Azure and let me just go to Azure Active Directory and show you. Let me try to refresh here. I think the computer host name is the um, MT, MIT06. So if I do a refresh here in all devices, here you can see that the MIT06 has been joined to Azure Active Directory. But the issue is this, you can see, but the device is not being managed with MD, um, mobile device management because of the way we join the device. If I go to, let me just go to uh, Intune, yeah. So if I go to, this is my Intune, and I click all device, here you can see this device is not going to populate here. So when I click refresh, and I try to refresh again, you are not going to see this device in um, your devices in Intune. But if I, let me go to my second machine. This is the first one. So let me go to my second device and I also try to register this device using a different method. So I'll go to settings. And here I'll, I'm going to go to account. And I actually in account, go to your access work or school. And instead of clicking connect, let's just click enroll only in device management. So it's still going to ask me to provide my, my uh, credentials. So I'm going to use the same account. Click next. So it's going to ask me to provide my password. So enter your password and click sign in. And just click yes as you can see the device is being registered in Intune so now you can see that connected to previous CTLS mobile device management so let me go go back to Azure Active Directory again here 
and do here you can see we have no, we are not seeing the device and the device host name is the MIT07 so let me just do a refresh let me do a refresh again I think it's going to take some time to populate because the device is being registered right now and let's go to Intune before it gets populated in uh, Azure Active Directory and let me do a refresh here so I think if the setup is being is still taking place, let me just click here and see click info, and I think the sync is still being taken place. So after doing some refresh, here you can see that the MIT07 has now been populated in my Azure Active Directory, and you can see because I registered it in a different way by enrolling it as a, in a, in Intune in a, in Azure. So here you can see I have a, the MDM is is Microsoft Intune. So, but if I go to my Intune to Microsoft Intune in Azure, and here you can see the device had just been included um, in in tune as well and you can see the ownership is, is a personal device but the compliance is not evaluated it says so let me show you the third method in which you can join your private own device to microsoft intune or azure active directory so let me just go to the third uh, windows 10 computer here and i will go to i will need to go to store the microsoft store So let me just try to start the Microsoft Store. Click Microsoft Store. And let's just wait. So after the Microsoft Store gets started, what you need to do is to search, go to the search and search for company portal. Here you have the company portal app. So according to Microsoft, actually, this is the best way you should join your um, private own device to azure active directory or microsoft intune so let me just click let me try and download this app first um no, i'm not going to sign in so the app is being downloaded it may take some little time for the app to be fully downloaded so after the product has been installed let's just click launch to open this to open the company portal So now, I will, so I will need to sign in. Here you can see it's giving me the Microsoft Intune compared to the other devices which didn't give me this Microsoft Intune option. So let me just enter my my email address again. Click Next, and here I'll be asked to provide my password and click Sign In. So he says, um, allow my organization to manage my device. So click yes. So right now the device is being registered with my company. And then click done. So the best, the best way and the, the, the reason why you should use this the company portal to register your device because here you can see i've created actually some terms and condition and here you can see my logo i have you choosing this background in microsoft in um, in uh, in intune so here you have the option to actually see what is going on behind the scene compared to the other ones which you just registered the device and you didn't see actually what happened behind the scene and once the the object the the device just populated in microsoft intune or azure active directory but here now i will need to click this device has been set up for corporate use yet so just click on this and here it's going to ask you to say connect this device to work so click next and here i'm going to click connect so you have the option to actually see what happens when i connect to my work device what can it see when i connect my device to work so you can actually click on this to see what your it department is going to see when you connect this device to microsoft intune so click connect and when you click connect you'll be asked to actually set, just click next your email address will be populated there and here you'll be asked to provide your password again And then click sign in click yes 
and here you can see the device the policies are now being applied you just click got it so what if your device connect to work feel free to leave the screen and check back later so here you see the connection is being made to the company portal so you can see we have um, a, a green check saying that your device is now connected to work so let's just click next and see and here you can see add corporate account to this device connect this device to work and then click done so you can see here we have my there's a device showing you can access company resources so when i click app here any app which are available which has been assigned to all devices will actually be displayed here and here we can actually choose the app categories we can see installed apps which has been installed on this on on this computer and here we have the option to actually see the different other devices which are as well joined to azure active directory so i can as well click on help and support when you click help and support you can see these are the information i actually entered in and in microsoft intune you can see i just entered a random telephone number and i enter here an email address and you can see that is the website as well so this is the when i click my profile and here you can see the user's name and the email address i can as well even change my password from this company portal um, portal so this is actually the best way to join your device to microsoft intune so now let me go back to microsoft to um, intune let me just click refresh and here you can see the device has been joined to my to intune and you can see it's mit08 and you can see the device is compliant the device was joined right away i think not quite long ago as you can see the timing about three minutes ago and if i go to azure active directory and i click refresh yeah sometimes it may take some time you can see the device has already been populated also in azure active directory sometimes it takes some a little bit of time for the device to be populated here but here you can see this is um it's also a microsoft intune mdn the compliance is set to yes and also you can see the time which this, dev this device was joined to microsoft intune but what are actually the difference between joining a device using a company portal or just reg registering the device without the device appearing in um intune so if i click on let me see i have the first device which was the mit 06 so here you can see the mit 06 is not in it's not in intune but it's in it is well in the azure active directory so when i click on this device you can see i can't actually do anything with this device the only thing i can do with this device is to disable it or to delete it for the rest i for for now i can't i can't do anything on this device because this device is not being managed using the md and the mobile device management but if i go back to all the devices and i and i click on the last device that was joined to this computer and here i click manage and you can see and here it, it takes me automatically to all the devices and i click on the mit 08 and here you see we have some other options first of all the option i have is i can retire this device if this device was stolen i can as well wipe all information from this device i can delete it i can as well sync it if i install an um, uh, application through microsoft intune and i feel that the um the installation is not going very fast i can as well as well sync this device between azure or office 365 and the, on the device i can actually restart the device from here i can do a fresh start which of course is going to delete remove all apps from the device i can as well scan do a full scan or a quick scan on this device i also have the option to go to the hardware to see the hardware information as you can see it's a windows 10 enterprise you can see the total storage i can see look at the discover apps which are installed on this computer but right now we don't have any apps on the computer i have also some device configuration i can actually see right now we don't have any device configuration if you have bitlocker configured on this computer the advantage of using microsoft intune is as well that you can as well search for the recovery key of bitlocker and it will be displayed here we can as well look for manage apps which are installed on this computer right now no apps has been installed through microsoft intune so with microsoft intune or with azure active directory if the device was is properly joined you have a lot of options actually to manage the device you can see the host name of the device as well let me just go back to the hardware let me just go back to the devices and click manage 
and here let me just try to restart this device show you what happened if i click let me just let me try to populate this and this was all the, the zero eight and i click restart this is what is going to happen here after some time the user who is using this computer will receive a message that his computer is about to be restarted so let me just hold on a little bit and show you the message the user is going to receive on his computer but mind you you will need to click yes to be sure that you want to restart this um, the um, computer and after you click yes you can see um, now I receive a message that your device administrator has scheduled a reboot so it will take some time for it to, the, the reboot doesn't happen immediately it takes some some time for the reboot to actually start it for you to actually close all documents that are open or to do some other things that you want to do as quick as possible before the device is going to actually restart so that's actually the best way to join your device to Microsoft Intune. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Please don't forget to like this, this video. And as well, you can also leave a comment and I will reply to you as quick as possible. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Thank you very much and goodbye.